this month's series is called State Your Faith. And I'm your main man, AJ. Dean, and this lovely gentleman next to me is John Fuentes, a.k.a. Johnny Fountain. Yes, guys, welcome to State Your Faith, where we get to teach you through the lens of sports and stories from the Bible how you can state your faith in any circumstance and anywhere. Yes, we will be talking about how important it is to follow Jesus and why it's important to state your faith. And we got some major news in the sport world of football. That's right. We, uh, we have a football team called the New Orleans Saints, and they have a quarterback named Drew Brees. Now, Drew Brees got tackled in one of his games, and he actually punctured his lung. It was a horrible injury. He's our star quarterback, and he wasn't able to play a few of the last games of the season. Oh, man. Well, not only is Drew Brees a fantastic quarterback and football player for this New Orleans Saints, but he's also a devout Christian, someone who's known to preach God's word in the locker room, share about the word of God to everyone he comes in contact with, whether that's teammates, coaches, or fans. And I just, hearing this, I can't imagine how hard it, ha- it, it has to be to not be able to be with your, with your teammates, be able to lead them to this next step, man. Ugh. I can't even imagine. Yeah, it is one of the hardest things to sit on the sidelines and watch your team lose and not win. And part of that is because you can't be out there with them. Uh, The Saints had super high hopes for this season, and and Drew Brees was actually able to come back healthy and play some of the games. He didn't look amazing, but he was able to lead his team on the field and come back and do it for them. You know, we got another story, and we're talking about now basketball with a player named Steph Curry. Have you ever heard of Steph Curry before? Of course I've heard of Steph Curry. Oh, really? Yo, Steph Curry is my favorite basketball player in NBA history. Now, just like Drew Brees, he is also a devout Christian who loves Jesus. He makes sure in every press conference or every time he has success, he points up to the Lord. And that's something that we got to admire, right? Dude is amazing. Well, at one point, Steph Curry actually found out that he needed surgery on both of his ankles. And... If you don't know, in basketball, you need both your ankles. And so, pretty much this guy was playing basketball with two fake ankles. That, that's actually crazy. I mean, I can't even play basketball with both my ankles. And this dude's doing it with two fa- fake ankles? I, I mean, hey. That's, but, I mean, that didn't stop him from not only being one of the best NBA players in the league today, but also stating his faith. I mean, I mean, like AJ said, he is a devout Christian, and he makes sure to not only state his faith on the court, but also off the court. He, he teaches the name of Jesus to his teammates in the locker room, his coaches, even fans. At the end of the game, he always makes sure to give the glory to God. Amen, amen. Well, just listening and hearing about these stories reminds me of a few things. And the first thing is that these professional players are stating their faith wherever they're going. Whatever they're doing, they're stating their faith. And that's something we can learn from. That actually reminds me of Jesus, who a long time ago did something that is very important, and it's a lesson that we can all learn. And today's headline is, Jesus Takes Care of You. I I love this story. It actually happened a long time ago when Jesus was on earth. Now, Jesus had these followers called disciples. He had 12 disciples, and they went with him wherever he went and helped him preach the name of God. Now, we pick up this story where Jesus is taking two of his disciples named James and John, and he's taking them to the house of Simon and Andrew. Let's pick up our verse in Mark 1, verses 29 through 31. Mark 1, 29 through 31. Jesus and those with him left the synagogue. Right away, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was lying in bed with a fever. They told Jesus about her right away, so he went to her. He took her hand and helped her up. The fever left her. Then she began to serve them. So in this story, we're learning so much about Jesus and how much he cares for his people, how much he takes care of all of us. And so in this story, Jesus is with James and John, and he is going to Simon and Andrew's house. And we find out that Simon's mother-in-law is ill. She has a fever. And so they tell Jesus, Jesus comes over to to Simon's mother-in-law, grabs her by the hand, helps her up, and immediately the fever leaves her. It disappears. And then she starts moving about. And then we find out that Jesus goes on to heal so many more people. And not only that, but we also read in the Bible that as soon as Simon's mother-in-law was healed, was healed, she got up 
and started serving Jesus. She started going around and telling everyone about the good news. And, and just as Jesus cared for her, Jesus cares for us. Mm. And just as Simon's mother-in-law served Jesus, we too should serve him. Yeah, amen to that. Jesus didn't have to heal any of these people. He didn't have to heal them at all. But he actually did. He went around and healed so many people, made them better from their sicknesses. And it's because he cared so much about all of these people. And it's crazy because he, he cares about us the same way. The Real Deal. Um, that reminds me, you ready to go play basketball after this? How are we going to play basketball with this? Man? What? It's a basketball, bro. you never seen a basketball before? Come on. Yeah, but it's deflated, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's, the, that's for a purpose because it actually relates really well to the story that we learned today because, you know, this basketball is flat. It's deflated. And every time we try to dribble, it just flops on the ground and doesn't bounce back up. This basketball is kind of like us. Whenever we feel sad, sick, or worried, we lose all of our energy, our joy, and our hope. We deflate. Yeah, you know, John, that's a lot like me. Like, there's a lot of times where I feel so defeated or worried or sad, but this reminds me that I have somebody, we have somebody that can fill us up again, and that's Jesus. He serves us, he cares for us, he makes us feel whole again. So that way we can look like this again. And just like Simon's mother-in-law got up and immediately started serving Jesus, we too should serve Jesus in that way. Yeah, yeah. This, is, this is good. I, I, I feel okay. like we could do something really fun each week that can be kind of a challenge to our friends, kids, family here. Ooh. And we can call it, Just State It. This week's Just Stated Challenge is to share with someone how Jesus is taking care of you. That could be friends, family, neighbors, even your teammates. Hey, share it with us too. Yeah, well with that being said, guys, this case is closed, but now it's your turn. Yeah, you guys let us know and let everyone know how you state your faith and follow Jesus after hearing the story. Yeah, and if you love sports and all things Jesus, make sure to join us next week on State Your Faith.